Hi everybody, Andrew Blau here, and I'm here with a how-to video. So this how-to video is on will be how to get a submarine floating in, and how to get a submarine in the water. Sorry. Now, anyways, so we have a submarine over here, which I got at the museum, and it was made in the 1950s. This is a original 1950s Zero Premium, and we got the instructions on the back. And here's the submarine itself, which, which um. This actually can detach the coining tower. But anyways, let's get started by get doing the experiment. Okay. So so we have to so step one is to fill a container with six or seven inches of water, which we which I filled it up earlier before the beginning of the video. Next we need to um first step one is dip the sub in water, then shake out excessive water. Leaving moisture in the screen only. Okay, so, so first, in order to do that, we need to take this off, and then we need to dip it in water and shake out the excessive water. Okay, so we need to dip this in the water, and now we need to shake out the water, and we leave only moisture in there. All right, so I shook out the water. Now we just have moisture in there. Let me try again and see if I sh need to get any more up. Okay. So now I'm shaking out the water that's in it. So now there's only moisture in this. If my camera will focus, there we go. So next, we need step two, we need to fill the bubble chamber completely with, oh, sorry if my hand's blocking the way. Next, we need to fill the bubble chamber completely with a, with a loose charge of baking powder. Powder, not baking soda. They're both completely different. And white bottles have baking powder, which I have baking powder off to the side. I've already dipped the submarine in there. So now I need to get the baking powder open. All right, so I'm opening the baking powder. And I got a spoon over here so we can fill, fill it on with baking powder. So I gotta fill it completely baking powder, not too full. So okay. I'm just gonna get my camera over here. And then I'm just gonna take the baking powder out of here. Oops, sorry, I'm having trouble scooping it up. That doesn't matter, we only need loose ones. And then you just fill this up. Which I'm pouring the baking powder in right now. I know it's a little messy. I know it's, it's a little messy right now because the powder is messy, but we'll clean it up soon. I'm just going to put a little more in here. All right, so it's already full, so now we can clean it off. I have a paper towel here. We can clean this off. Now we just have to clean off the baking powder. And then step three, we immediately insert the periscope reader assembly, pressing it in firmly. So this is the periscope thing, which we gotta firmly press it in. There we go. And now step four, we gotta grasp the sub by the coining tower and shake vigorously underwater a few times and then let it go. And the submarine will submerge into surface automatically and then gently stir the water and the sub will cool down the surface. So, so now we gotta shake this underwater. And the submarine should cruise on. Oh, it's stuck there, sorry. And the submarine should cruise around in water and surface, which um, I am. It'll spin around in circles. It'll spin around if you gently stir it. And then we're going to see if it floats. It, it'll go on for several minutes. The submarine actually does float. Like, see that? It'll submerge above water when you shake it vigorously. And if you stir it gently, it'll just go around in circles. See this? Can I bring my camera up and I'll show you it. And there's the submarine. It is cruising around in circles right now. 
and it will dive underwater and submerge whenever it can. Which you can put this underwater right now. And it'll actually float back up. If you can see that, if, if you put it underwater, it'll float back up. It's a very nice submarine. Overall, it's good. I like it. I got it at the... I got it in Groton, the submarine museum. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this little experiment slash demonstration. Thank you for watching. Bye.